Suppose that we have a risk-free bond that has a face value of $100 and two years to maturity. This bond pays a 3% coupon with semi-annual coupons. So based on our timeline, we're standing right here at year zero. And so our coupons will be $1.50, that is 3% divided by two, because these are semi-annual coupons. And then at year two, our cash flow is going to be the principal of $100 plus that final coupon of $1.50. So our total cash flow at year two will be $101.50. So we're going to try to price this bond based off of the prices of strips. So strips are risk-free and this bond is risk-free. The prices of strips here are given for each intermediate or each six month cash flow. What this means is for a two year strips with a face value of $1,000, we're going to receive a $1,000 payoff in two years, and we're willing to pay $900 today to receive that $1,000 in two years. Similarly, we are willing to pay $955 in, or sorry, we are willing to pay $955 today in order to receive $1,000 in one year. What's nice about these strips prices is that they give us the value of $1 of payoff in the future or the price today of $1 of payoff in the future. So we can think of this as the price per dollar of payoff in the future. So if we are willing to give $900 today to receive $1,000 in the future, this means that we're willing to pay 90 cents for every dollar that we receive in two years. Similarly, we're willing to pay $93, or er, sorry, 93 and a half cents today for every $1 that we receive in a year and a half. 95 and a half cents for every dollar that we receive in one year and 97 cents today for every one dollar that we receive in six months. So this allows us to price the risk-free bond with coupons every six month. So the price of the bond, this 3% coupon bond with semi-annual coupons, is going to be equal to the coupon that we receive in six months times the price per dollar of future cash flow. So in six months, we're going to receive $1.50 and we're willing to trade 97 cents today to receive a dollar in the future. So that $1.50 has a present value of $1.50 times 97 cents. And we do this for all the cash flows. So for the year one cash flow, we'll receive a dollar fifty, and we're willing to pay ninety-five and a half cents for every dollar we receive in one year. So we'll receive a dollar fifty in one year. So we're willing to pay a dollar fifty times zero point nine five five. In a year and a half, we'll receive $1.50. And for every dollar we receive in a year and a half, we're willing to pay 93 and a half cents. In two years, we're going to receive $101.50. That is the principal payment plus that final coupon. And for every dollar in two year that we re that we receive in two years, we're willing to pay 90 cents. So if we receive $101.50 and we're willing to pay 90 cents for each dollar, that amount is what we're willing to pay for that final cash flow. So plugging this all into our calculator, we find that the price of this bond is $95.64. What's really nice about this example is that we are pricing this bond 
as a collection of individual cash flows. That is, we, re- we receive four individual cash flows, and we know the price that we are willing to pay as investors for each dollar that we receive at different periods of time. So for that one year cash flow, we're will- for every dollar that we receive in one year, we're willing to pay 95, uh, sorry, 95 and a half cents for every dollar that we receive in one year. 